G'day viewers. That took a bit longer than I thought it would. Anyway, time for another Totally Fucked Up Friday. And I'm going to start with one of your classic good news, bad news situations. First, the good news. Global warming is not going to destroy life on Earth. Now the bad news, we're going to get wiped out way before global warming has a chance to do a sin. Now, a lot of people won't be surprised when I say it will be humanity who causes its own destruction. And there will even be people who won't be particularly surprised when I say it's going to be robots that do us in. That is a lie. Mr. Angley is spreading hate speech. He is a robotist. But you might be surprised at how exact my science is. This is not some vague, ooh, one day the robots will take us over. And this is not some offshoot of singularity theory, the idea that one day we'll build computers so smart they'll be smarter than us and they'll be able to make even smarter computers without our help. No, no, because actually the robots that wipe us out will actually be not all that bright. Fuck you, flesh bag. You're not so smart yourself. My first bit of evidence is the tiny swarm robots. Not much bigger than a flea, these solar powered Teeny tiny robots don't do much on their own, but they will be programmed to act with a swarm intelligence, much like ants or bees, and they'll be able to work together to accomplish complex tasks. Now let's throw into the mix the plasma bot. This is actually a biological robot formed essentially from slime mold, but it can perform complex calculations, move and seek out nutrients. And to round the whole thing off, let's go with the horrifically named Eater Robot. This is an actual battlefield robot designed to fuel itself by picking up biological matter from the battlefield as it scoots about. And yes, dead bodies would be biological matter. And yes, a battlefield robot has ways of creating its own supply of dead bodies. Now let's get real. The Eater alone could wipe out humanity. Or maybe it would keep a few of us around like farm animals so it'd have a constant food supply. But it's bad news. But the three are going to combine. Mark my words. Tiny little swarming robots, biological slime mass, eating humans. You see what's happening? It's the blob! Scientists are going to kill us all with the fucking blob! I swear, for people who are pretty smart, scientists do some seriously fucked up things. I'm not the first to say it, but have these guys not seen even one scary science fiction movie? Don't they know what they're dooming us to? Now, I was going to make that the sole subject for today's TFU Friday, but I stumbled across this guy. He's without a doubt the most totally fucked up human in existence. Seriously, I could almost stop the segment from now on because nothing will be more fucked up than this guy. His name's Gary Moody, and he just got arrested for hiding out in a pit toilet in a national park in the US. For those who aren't campers, a pit toilet is just a hole in the ground with a seat over it that people shit in. And he was down the hole in the shit while more people dropped shit on top of him. Now I know there are people with a sexual fetish for shit. I know, I don't want to think about it, but I do know it exists. But this guy even leaves them behind. He actually got himself arrested because no one else is as fucked as him. Because although he was seen climbing out of the toilet and going away covered in shit, uh, no one identified him. But an agent for the park service went, hang on, didn't some dude get arrested for this a couple of years ago? There can't be more than one person who's into this sick shit, for want of a better word. And sure enough, the ranger followed it up and he was the same guy! He tracked him down and said, Were you in the park covered in shit? Yes, that was me. I dropped my shirt down the toilet and was looking... You dropped your shirt down a toilet and were looking for it? He comes up with lame excuses like that. The first time, he said he dropped his wedding ring down in the shit and was looking for it. And so to prove he was lying, they had to dredge it all out and sift through it. Man, I would have thrown him back down there if that had been my job, sifting through tons of shit to prove there wasn't a wedding ring there. Seriously, this guy, the judge said he needs to seek help. 
I don't think there is help for this. I also don't think there's a punishment for this. When somebody idea of a good time is to go down a pit toilet and wallow in shit, what could you do to them that's worse? That guy is seriously totally fucked up.